Hi everyone, Kenny here with Rocks Barbecue and the Stoker Powergraph system. In this video, we'll go ahead and show you how to use the web interface once you've got your Stoker all set up. So we have our Stoker connected to our network and we have the IP. So we'll go ahead and go up to the URL and type in the IP address. And we'll go ahead and press enter. That's going to bring up the built-in web server. Uh, that's built into the, the Stoker software which is called the Stoker status page. Uh, it'll show you what current version of software you have, uh, the current date and current time as well. <coughs> you have the blowers over here so if you have multiple blowers, blower 1 will be here, blower 2 down here. Uh, you have control sensors, alarm sensors, monitoring sensors and also you can save the changes. Uh, we'll go ahead and explain the different sensors in other videos and a little bit in this video. The first thing we want to do is show you how to rename a sensor. Uh, the blower is named Blower 1 uh, because we are only using one blower. If you have two blowers, they'll be named Blower 1 and Blower 2. Uh, from the factory, the sensors that are pit sensors are named Sensor 1. If you have a dual, sense, dual system, they'll be named Sensor 1 and Sensor 2. Uh, food probes are named after all of the pit sensors. So our next sensor would be sensor 2 and all you do is highlight the serial number and then go ahead and type sensor 2. You can name it whatever you want. You could name it uh, WSM food sensor, brisket, pork butt, ribs, chicken, uh, or whatever else you might be cooking. So we've typed it in and we will go ahead and click save changes. Now this will go ahead and save all the changes that we made and then it'll come up with the confirmation page. If you click back it'll take you back to the Stoker status page and you can check on the Stoker and update other fields. The next thing we'll show you how to do is how to assign a blower to a sensor. Um, once the blower has been assigned to the sensor it'll come under control sensors. Control sensors means that there is a blower assigned. So we want sensor 1 which is our pit sensor and we want to go ahead and select blower 1. You don't want to assign the blower to the food sensor as the blower will control the temperature of the food sensor not the pit sensor. So we've selected blower 1 for our sensor 1 which is our pit sensor and we go ahead and save the changes. Now the blower has been assigned to the sensor. Go ahead and press back and the next thing that we'll show you how to do is set target temperatures. So for our pit sensor and for our food sensor, we'll go ahead and set some temperatures. Um, now the sensor 1 has come under control sensors since there's a blower sign and sensor 2 doesn't have a blower sign, which is a monitoring sensor. So we'll go ahead and set the pit sensor to 250 and the food target to 195. We'll go ahead and click save changes. Now we've set target temperatures for our sensors. The blower will come on and remain on until it approaches 250 degrees. At that point it'll try and regulate that temperature and keep it as close to 250 as possible. The next thing we want to show you how to do is to set uh, alarm sensors. So under the alarm tab there's food or fire. For pit sensors you want to use a fire alarm and the fire alarm will unlock the low and high settings. Uh, when you use these, you want to set the low and high at least 25 degrees apart from your target temperature. So if the pit gets too cold or too hot, we'll get an alarm condition. Now we'll go ahead and set a food alarm for the, the food sensor. So when the food reaches this target 195, it'll also give us an alarm condition. You can also select none, which will leave it as a monitoring sensor. We'll go ahead and select the food alarm and save the changes. So now we've saved our changes and we'll go ahead and check on the status of our stoker. So we click back and now we can monitor uh, what's going on with all the sensors. Sensor 1 is our pit sensor which is at 66.6 .6 degrees. Uh, it's got the fire alarm and it's been assigned to blower 1. The sensor 2 which is our food sensor is now an alarm sensor. Uh, it's 65.7 degrees and the target's 195 with a food alarm. If we had other sensors in here with no alarms, they would be under monitoring sensors. That is basically how to use the web interface. 
Um, it has a automatic refresh uh, function, uh, which does it on a uh, timed interval. But if you want to refresh it, you just have to click your refresh button. Um, this is a useful tool in monitoring the stoker status from the couch or other places in your house so you don't have to be right next to the stoker.